there's a, a section on differences between families, uh, I'm sorry, differences between females and males. This is actually found on page 178 and 179 in chapter 7. Um, I just wanted to hit this really quickly because I think there's some things that we, you know, I want to make sure that you, you have got uh, in your mind later on when you start applying these things. In most cultures, boys are generally socialized toward achievement and self-reliance, girls toward nurturance uh, and responsibility. Um, that's just the way uh, the law of the land has always been. Differences in the expectations and behaviors of the two genders may be rooted in their, their group's ethnicity, religion, and social economic status. In schools, girls and boys perform differently in academic subjects and behave differently in the classroom. You'll find that to be true. Um, actually just had a conversation with a mother uh, not too many days ago about her son and she made the decision to hold him back and start in kindergarten so he would be a year older. Um, I praised her for that decision because all the research says that little boys tend to mature slower than girls do. Uh, the girl could be at the same age and be ready for kindergarten. The boy could be that same age and nowhere near it. So you're going to see mu a much difference in the behaviors of boys and girls, at least for a little while, and then the guys do catch up. Uh, for, for years, boys outperformed girls in mathematics, and girls had higher scores than boys on reading achievement tests. That's, that was research-based. However, the gaps between the two sexes are decreasing. For example, women are now majoring in mathematics in college at a higher rate than in the past, earning over 40% of the math degrees. Now, I, I think it was attributed to the fact that we as teachers, because the research says uh, guys were stronger in math and sciences, we pushed them in that area. And because research says, girls, we were better in language arts, reading, spelling, those kind of things, that we as teachers pushed our girls to do that, thinking that was really how uh, the mind was, was wired, if you'll have it, for the two different uh, genders. Well, then it got to be where someone uh, decided, hey, maybe with some encouragement, the girls can do it. Um, and they started encouraging the girls, and there started to be a big difference. Um, now, as I think about my own children, Daniel came through. He's been adding and subtracting since he was three. He just loved, if he, could, if he had enough fingers and toes out, he, he could get you a number. He loved to do that in the car. That was one of the things that him and Rusty did, uh, go ahead into preschool. Uh, it, uh, three mornings a week. Um, so he's always been strong in math. Going into sixth grade, he, he scored 12th grade plus on the math entrance test for sixth grade. Um, he's, he's always been advanced. Okay, that's true. Okay, there he is, the gender, male gender. He's strong in math. Well, then Hannah came through, and, and I thought I'd like to run my own test to see if that's the case. And so she said, I can't do it. I can do it. Yes, you can. I said, oh, you can do this. Just you, you have to think a little more. It's math. Um, and so she started working on it. Sure enough, she started sixth grade and came in at the 11th grade. Third, third month of the 11th grade is what she tested as a girl. So then Sarah comes along and Sarah, I can't do math. I can't do math. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. You just have to apply yourself. No, she can't. <laughs> She's just not wired. Um, math doesn't come so easy for her. Not as easy for her as it does Hannah and Daniel. Uh, still, she does well, but it takes a little more effort on her part. Um, so I found, I, I, if I ever go back and do a doctorate, I don't think I will. But if I should, um, I think I'd like to do some research to see, is it because right brain and left brain it's more left, right brain, left brain stuff going on, more so than the gender. I don't know. Regardless, ladies, we are catching up. The latest numbers show guys are still just a little bit ahead in math achievement, but we are, you should feel us breathing on the back of your neck. We're almost there. Some researchers attribute these gender differences to the development of specific hemispheres at the top of the brain. Mm -hmm. Uh, as I just said, females tend to have a well-developed left side of the brain, which is associated with verbal skills such as reading, speaking, and writing, sharing our emotions, talking um, to all hours of the night. The right side, which boys use more often, is associated with spatial skills and measuring and working with blocks or other objects. Um, but I'm getting more and more students who are females who are right-brained when we do the test. Men are generally found in positions of uh, superiority as evidenced by their... Uh, employment, the high status and highest paying jobs leading to uh, 
uh, any uh, uh, to not equal pay, and you've heard this in the news just as recent, um, how that women are being paid less than than men for the same work. Um, I don't know whether it's going on as much as we think it is. Maybe it's going on more than I think. I, um, I don't know. Uh, a starting pay for teachers is around 31000 regardless what your gender is. So uh, I guess it's a personal opinion. Chapter 7, pages 178 and 179.